I don't mean to sound like an ass to some people. Because I know there are some people out there that are sensitive and fragile and all kinds of things. But apparently, I seem to be the only person in this whole fucking backwards thinking society that is willing to have the balls and the courage and just the moral idea, I guess you could say, to come out and just say, you know, what's on his mind and say, and just speak from the heart. You know, can, and I'm just going to say this. People that are suicidal, people that think it's okay to commit suicide or attempt suicide, are reactionary. They're, it's backwards thinking, and it's, it's, it, personally, I think it's morally wrong. I think it's, I think it's wrong, I always say I, I'm against it morally and politically, although now thinking about it rationally I don't know how you could say politically but the point is is that I hear of so many people especially from followers on, on Twitter who say you know say I just can't anymore I'm you know I, I just don't want to live anymore I don't want I don't it, it, this and that and this and that and it's just like are you fucking kidding me it's like at, at least at least once or twice a week I see this on Twitter and it's making me think god does no one can no does no one have any fucking balls anymore does no one even have a fucking any fucking sense in their head anymore what in the fuck is wrong with you people that you think that killing yourself is good for anybody that it's good for you or your family or your friends because it's not listen to my fucking words okay no matter how bad your life you think your life sucks or how bad you think this world is and i have to admit and i will admit there is some shit that goes on in this world there are some douchebags in this world and these douchebags, unfortunately, yes, they will contribute to your, to your thinking. You know, like the bully that's, you know, bullying you and calling you, you know, ugly or fat or just, call, you know, you know, just being slightly mean to you. Well, then tell that fucker to fuck himself or herself. Tell them to f shut the fuck up and block their ass, for God's sake. Just block their ass. Ignore what they have to say because what they say doesn't matter. It's what you think of yourself. And be there's another thing. Be secure with yourself. Be happy with who you are. And for God's sakes, if you are thinking about popping those pills or slitting your wrist or putting a gun to your fucking head, use your fucking common sense, God damn it. Put the gun down, put the knife down, put the bottle of pills down. And just remember, no matter how bad you're, you think life sucks, there's always something worth living for. Fucking, st fucking stop this shit. Oh, God, why do I, I've probably done about five videos probably about this, and I'm tired of fucking saying it. Pass this, when I post this on Twitter, somebody please retweet this to your followers. Or tweet it to somebody that's suicidal even. Tweet it to your followers. Re retweet it to your followers. Tweet it to somebody who's suicidal or has tried to commit suicide or whatever. And have them re retweet it and tweet it to somebody and keep it moving down the line. God. Just... It, 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 I talk about revolution a lot, okay? Well, you know what? I'm starting a big revolution to end suicide. So pass this along to everybody you know. Because frankly, I'm tired of this. I, 
you think your life's so bad that it's worth killing yourself over. You think that no one, no one cares about me, and I'm probably better off dead. No, you're not. Shut the fuck up and listen to the insanity that you're talking about. When you, when you, somebody kills themselves, it's n there's always somebody that cares, and their their family and their friends and all their loved ones. Think of how devastated they will be at your loss. You think that they're not, but they are. They love and care about you. Hell, I don't know any probably. I don't know half the people on Twitter probably that I follow. I I don't know them personally. I've never actually met them. But the fact that I'm making a video and that I'm tweeting rants and basically telling you to just calm down and bring it down proves that just because I don't know you personally, never met you, does not mean I don't care. If I didn't care, why would I be doing this? Why, in fact, why would I do it five fucking times and then do it like probably three dozen times talking about it on Twitter? That's how much I'm against suicide. Everybody that knows me knows how I'm against suicide. And frankly, you know, that's, that's how it is. And you think your life is so bad? Well, here's something to think about, and I've talked about this so many times. My stepdad died of a heart attack. He was he was very he was still very young. I lost a friend, a really good friend, a family friend, mind you, to cancer. My great grandfather withered away for five years before he died, finally succumbing to pneumonia, a coma, and then he died. This all happened, and my uncle also died of a heart attack in his early 50s. This all happened within the last, like, seven years. Well, ten years, okay, but within seven years. It all happened within seven years. I've been through so much and if I can get through all of them, and I loved every one of those, I was very close to every one of those people. If I can live through that, through the tragedy after tragedy after tragedy after tragedy, and still, and I'm still against suicide, if I can live through all that and get through and make it through life, and even, be, and yes, I have been bullied too. Well, maybe not so much maybe from other people but I was bullied when I was younger somewhat okay I, I don't know if bullied the right but I was picked on I was ridiculed somewhat I kind of am because of the views I have and if I can get through all of that and still be against suicide then anybody can and that's why I ask so many people that are suicidal because they're being bullied and no one likes me. I should just kill myself. Why? Why kill yourself? Grow up. Grow some nuts. Man, woman up. Live your life. Because there's always something worth living for. There's always somebody that cares about you. Because obviously I do. That's why I'm making this video. Why I tweet so much about it. And I don't even... And I don't know... A lot of you personally, I've never met, again, I've never met a lot of you. But I'm doing this because I care. And because I'm against suicide so much. And again, we'll bring up another argument. Let's say somebody who's thinking that way says, well, you just don't understand. It's like, yeah, you're right, I don't understand. I don't understand what you're really going through. But I also really don't understand how bad your life must really be that you think that it's worth killing yourself over. I really don't. I, I just... Because there, there's no excuse. Hell, if anybody, even by, by a law even, 
should have killed themselves because of so much tragedy. It should have been me. But I didn't, and I won't. I will not, because I, because I, I know better. Because I actually have common sense. Where did that go? Why can't, why are all these people, you know, why are so many people dying because of all this? Why are so many, many people talking about this and, and threatening to kill themselves? Stop. Just stop. There's a, a, use your head. Actually use your head. And if you really th are that, having that bad of a problem, talk to somebody, motherfucker. Go talk to somebody. Go talk to your school counselor. Go talk to a psychiatrist or a psychologist, whatever. I go to a, to a psychiatrist once a month, and it helps me. And for the stuff that I don't talk about, I put in videos. I talk about it on Twitter. I'm very open about it. And I'm here to listen to you most of the time. If I don't respond right away, it's not because I don't care. It's because I'm busy doing something else. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. I at least go on Twitter at least once a day. So I check my messages. I check all my... Uh, at mentions I do all of that and I will get back to you so just, again fucking stop would you put down the gun put down the knife and put down the bottle of pills put down whatever you're thinking about killing yourself with and just fucking breathe think and listen to what I have to say what I've said in this video Pass it on and really take it to heart. Let's end suicide. Not just prevent it. End it. Because I'm tired of this bullshit. Thank you.